Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to recreate a look that I saw on Instagram. It is by Makeup by Jess Evans X and she created this a beautiful bronze cut crease uh, look and I really had fun recreating this. If you wanna see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I think in today's video, I want my skin to be pretty matte or at least satin, nothing too glowy. And uh, we are going to get started with priming our face. I already have moisturizer, eye cream, all of that good stuff um, applied on already. So we are going to use today the Leveler Beauty Blender Pore Minimizing Primer. So that's what we're doing. Instead of massaging it into my skin, I push it in. As a foundation, I'm going to use, as always, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in a color 2W1. Now I am going to take my Dampy Beauty Blender and blend everything to my skin. Okay, so now I am going to conceal my under eye area by using Maybelline, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. I haven't used it in so long. Just remember I used to like it a lot. So we'll see. And I am going to take my brush and just blend everything in. I will actually take my shape tape and add a little bit more coverage. I feel like it's not enough. So just a little bit. And then I will spot conceal areas that need a little bit more coverage. And I will cover some blemishes. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with some translucent powder and I'm using Morphe Bake and Set. So oh, just very light setting and dusting, that's the job for me. Okay, so we're coming up close and personal and we are going to get started with our eye look. And I think I'm going to use my James Charles palette and I'm going to take this, which one? This pretty orangey look for my crease area. And I wanna do my crease area quite high a little higher than my natural crease. So if you have blue eyes, usually warm tones like oranges, gold, warm browns, they're going to really enhance and um, make your blue eyes pop even more. So I make sure that I blend it and blend it and blend it so, so much. Now I am going to take this pretty, kind of like a burgundy shade. And I really want to angle it up just like that. Great. So not only we had to change the lens because it was doing some weird in and out of the focus and I did not know how to figure it out. And um, 
when I changed the lens, I thought I'm recording and I was not. So anyways, uh, what I did was I created the same wing. I'm creating the same wing on the other side with this pretty burgundy shade. I want to quite saturate it. Oh, and I'm using um, Real Technique 313 uh, angled brush to do that. It's actually pretty easy to create this wing by using this angled brush. Yeah, so I need to correct this side to be more like this one. Okay, so now with the same angled brush, we're going to create a cut crease. So my crease is around here, right? But we want to make it a little bit higher than that. So I'm taking the same um, angled brush and the same uh, burgundy shade. And I'm creating a cut crease. like so and slightly I'm going to just thicken it up by using just remaining product on my brush we'll kind of like blend it in and I'm going to blend it in gently Instead of blending it down to my crease, I try to blend it up above. Okay, now we're going to take some light shade, so the lightest one from the palette, and pack it I will apply some mascara now. Oh, and I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. In my waterline, I'm going to apply Sephora Colorful Crayon in the color Coconut. Now I will apply mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, now onto the lashes. I'm going to use Sephora Fierce Lashes and I need to cut them first so they fit me. It's definitely easier for me to apply the thinner strip lash like without the, the really thick band but we figured it out. Now that eyelashes are on we are going to take care of the eyebrows and I'm going to make them very fluffy. So I'm using my N NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in a color blonde. So here I like to kind of fluff them up to this side. Make them very messy. And I'm going to just put as much product as possible and then brush them up. Brush them up to the side and now hold it in place for a second. See what I'm saying? Kind of like makes it thicker, makes it fluffier. Love, love. So now I'm going to bring back some life to my skin and I will bronze it a little bit by using my Sephora bronzer in color Sicily. And now I'm going to just put some blush. It's a wet and wild blush, but don't ask me to pronounce it. I'm going to just post it down below. 
but it's like very pretty, pretty neutral color. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of a Becca highlighter and throw squirts in the inner corner of my eyes. The last step is going to be our lips and I'm going to overline my lips with NYX Lavender and Lace Lip Liner. In the center, I'm going to uh, apply Melted Matte Holy Chic. And I will melt it all together with my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in Color Boy. Alright guys, so that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. That is just going to motivate me more to record more videos. And let me know down below in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.